This morning, St. Louis police need your help in solving the murder of a mom and her two year old son. It's a cold case that dates back to 2019. Our Mercedes McKay is joining us live from the newsroom and Mercedes, you know, it's been five years and we know the police are hoping someone's ready to come forward. Michelle and Rennie, that's exactly right. And police are calling this a heinous crime. Now, Trinity Riley and her two year old son, Caden Johnson, were shot and killed inside their North St. Louis home just five years ago. Investigators say now's the time for anyone who knows anything about this crime to come forward. It's absolutely tragic that this occurred. Two lives that were ended way too early. This is not going to be tolerated in the city. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's a case that weighs heavily on St. Louis police officer Anthony Caruso. There's nothing that two year old kid could have possibly done to have warranted any of this. That's not normal anywhere in the city at any time. The homicide sergeant's team digging back into a brutal double murder from half a decade ago on April 30th, 2019. Trinity Riley and her son Caden Johnson were inside their home on Ferris Avenue when they were murdered. They're seated in the living room on a couch. Uh, they hear a vehicle pull up in front of the house and Moments later, the, the door is open. As soon as Riley yelled, who's there? Three mass suspects busted through the door and gunshots followed. The 18 year old grabbing her son and running to the back of the house. When they were located, she was actually clinching him to her chest. Uh, so I, I, I can't imagine that anybody would have anything against a two year old child. It's, it's just disgusting to think about. Caruso says it's clear Riley was the intended target. A male friend of hers was inside the home at the time and wasn't harmed. He was actually behind her when they were running uh, from the gunfire. So I, I don't see a way that they didn't see him as well. All three armed with rifles. It's risky to do something like that. You don't know who's on the inside of that house, what weapons they may have. A risky crime that five years later has more questions than answers, with the main witness now dead and the family tough to reach. That's why police are pleading for the public to step up. Somebody out there has been sitting on this information for five years, and, and we're just really hoping at this point that whoever that person or persons are, that they're ready to come forward and do the right thing. Truly a heartbreaking story. Now, if you have any information about the case, you're asked to call the St. Louis Police Department's Homicide Office. That number is 314-444-5371. Police say the suspects were in a dark colored Chevy Malibu with a temporary tag.